it has been said that our modern systems of communication are an extension into the external world of man's nervous system. But consider the problems that are arising out of this. The extension of the nervous system electronically means the end of privacy. As if all your interior thoughts were to become instantly public and available to everyone. Let's think of it first of all in the worst way we can think of it. The inconvenience of everybody being able to barge in on us by telephone. Double that inconvenience, treble it with the inconveniences you can imagine for a future technology where you not only have the sound of the person's voice on the telephone but also their visual image. It can be so worked out technically that everybody can be equipped with a little gadget about the size of a pocket watch. And everybody in the world who possesses one of these things has a number. And if you ring it and the number doesn't answer, your friend's dead. Imagine. Because you can't not answer. That would be unethical. That would be inhuman. That would be to advertise yourself as dead. You must answer. If we couple the science of television with the science of laser beams, then we can have a laser beam created three-dimensional image of anybody you want to talk to sitting right in this room. And you understand that each one of them in their own room, they have an equivalent laser beam image of you and all the others who are involved in this conference. So that the same conference is happening in five different places. Let's say there are five people involved. In each one of them, there's one of them there who thinks he's authentic. See? And he has these five laser beam images for talking to you. And so it is in every other situation. You begin to ask then, where are you? And furthermore, by means of further electronic technology, every one of these five people are not only visible to each other, but also their inmost thoughts are clear to each other. There is no concealment. Imagine that. And the electronic network that communicates from person to person will eventually become ESP or psionic. We will get it from each other without any need for an electrical gadget. But as it goes on, you see, this, met this conscious attention creating technological devices for communication. All it is actually doing, it is discovering the routes of communication that have always been there. Well, when we have finally no need to travel, to telephone, to communicate by any technical method whatsoever, because we all instantly read each other's thoughts, you find there's still something beyond that. Because when you can read everybody else's thoughts, what information will you get from doing that? You will find that reading somebody else just like reading you.